There's a lot of detail contained in the plans for the Eastside project, which is without a doubt one of the most significant developments of our time. So we're going to break this down for you bit by bit, and today we're looking at the residential side of the plans. The proposal addresses what it says is the significant demand for high-quality residential accommodation in Gibraltar, a result of its successful positioning in various sectors of the economy, according to the developers' plans. The high-quality residents would be commercially important for the project and would complement the marina. It's envisaged that a full 160,000 square metres of residential accommodation would be created across the site. A significant component of this would be low-rise residential accommodation, including apartments, maisonettes and duplex townhouses. The development is expected to house over 1,300 residential units. Each residential cluster would have an enclosed shaded green courtyard for the exclusive use of residents, with pools and children's play areas within. Each cluster is conceived as terraced volumes designed to encourage outdoor living and social interaction with a modest medium-rise residential block in each cluster. The project also includes what the developers describe as a landmark residential building within the marina itself. This would be about 25 storeys high. The plans make provision for 100 units of what they call affordable accommodation, which means the properties will be built to the same standards and specifications as Hassan Centenary Terraces. These units are nestled within the residential zones of the project, enjoying views at the upper levels of the volumes. Off-street parking for over 3,000 vehicles would be accommodated in four underground levels. This means all vehicles will be underground, leaving the top side of the project practically circulation free of vehicles. The parking provisions include 500 spaces for use by the general public. Most of these would be towards the northern end for use by the marina. And then the others would be further south, nearer Catalan Bay. The parking complex includes provision for a minimum of 160 vehicle car spaces for people with disabilities distributed throughout the parking levels. It will also include sufficient motorcycle parking bays and bicycle racks. A minimum of 20% of all parking bays in the initial phase would be fitted for electric vehicle charging, with subsequent phasing supplementing this provision according to demand.